Among the graduates at David Crockett High School today is Caitlin Saltz. She was especially excited because just as her life began, things took a devastating turn. Born with a rare heart condition, she nearly lost her life. Through surgery, bottles of medication, Katie, as her family affectionately calls her, has beat all odds. And after graduating high school today, she says this is only the beginning. Saturday, May 21st, 2016. Caitlin Saltz marched alongside hundreds of other students in her class at David Crockett High School. And with each step she took, she proved doctors wrong, rewriting her story that could have finished soon after it started. You know, growing up, I, I felt like I wasn't normal. I wasn't like everybody else. Caitlin Saltz was born in November of 1997. Her mother and father both overjoyed. But soon after their baby girl was delivered, she was immediately taken away from her parents. Uh, I got to see her for about three seconds. My wife didn't get to see her at all for three days. Caitlin's father, Randall, says they soon figured out that there was a major problem. He says his daughter was born blue. She was missing her complete wall in her upper two chambers. Instead of four chambers, she had two chambers. The newborn baby would have to remain in the hospital and use a feeding tube for several months. After major open heart surgery, Caitlin was taken off of her feeding tube and was soon allowed to go home. That homecoming would be short lived though. Caitlin, less than a year old, would have to go back to the hospital for head surgery. I don't really think about that every day. And it takes, looking at the scar, it takes that to realize that I went through that. Come a long way. Today, Caitlin is happy and healthy. She relies totally on a pacemaker and couldn't play sports while in school. Growing up, that's one thing I wanted to do, but I couldn't do it because I couldn't get hit in the chest. I went through some bullying, so, you know, but I still, I still went through, you know, school and got my education, and I mean, I made it. Made it to graduation day. Caitlin credits her strong support system of family and friends for never letting her give up on her dreams. She now encourages others to do the same. I did and just focus on getting through school and the people that are there for you, you know, be there for them too. Now, Caitlin tells me she hopes to start work soon in a dietary services at a hospital while at the same time studying to become a therapist to help others in need.